Whether they choose to word it this way or not, the actual argument from a number of people seems to be about whether or not gender is a social construct or not, whether gender is just another word for sex. We definitely have different social constructs and roles for what you're supposed to be if you're a man versus if you're a woman. Over the years, we've thankfully opened up those roles so they're not as oppressive. But now that it's becoming more common, particularly with youth, to completely toss aside the roles altogether, to toss aside the gender binary altogether, and go with something different, the existing gender binary is becoming more restrictive again. We have more choices than ever of boxes that we can fit into. But each of those boxes have stronger expectations than the larger boxes of the gender binary did up until recently. And sure, people can create their own boxes if none of the boxes that are available look enticing, which seems easier to do now than it ever was. But it leaves one feeling isolated. Some people are fine with feeling isolated, but that's only a small percentage of people. People naturally have desires for community, a sense of purpose, a feeling of belonging. And that's pretty hard to do if you've created your own isolated box. Personally, I like the notion of expanding who I am within larger boxes. I don't want to be held down by a box. I don't want to have to constantly jump around to different boxes. And I don't want to be completely isolated either. But now that the larger boxes are becoming more restrictive again, and they're probably only going to get more restrictive as time goes on, I'm definitely feeling the pressure. And I know I'm definitely not the only one. I'm not sure I like the direction all this is going, but we'll just have to see what happens. Thanks for watching.